my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here today we're going to talk about a link page a page with links how do you get a page that just has links for people to access whatever it is that you're trying to sell what you're trying to what your brand you're trying to build what your social links are just a simple page you know like linktree right there's a linktree software out there that you can use for sure and they'll give you four links for free on your page and you can add if you can pay a monthly fee right what we're going to be talking about today though is link pages or click e-links from click e-course and how you set that up on click e-course and we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so you've heard of Linktree right people have a Linktree on their bios so that you can have multiple things you want to talk about in your profile especially Instagram Instagram is the most popular one because in Instagram there was always always just one link you could have on your on your profile so this made Linktree very popular because it was a page where you can have a whole bunch of links now we're going to be talking about a feature in Click eCourse that allows you to do something like Linktree but you don't have to pay the extra for Linktree you can have it just as part of Click eCourse just an extra feature so we're going to get into that but before we get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis 368.jsgagnon.com to see the video and the blog post because I'm going to be posting uh, about this as well so let's get right to it let me share my screen and show you what the current incarnation of the links on click e links looks like so let's just share my screen there we go so this is very very basic as you can see it's just like you know red red buttons green buttons yellow buttons blue buttons right and uh, headers and things like that but every single one of these things can be clicked on to go to wherever you want to send your subscribers your 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 visitors to right so you can put this link this is askjeanserge.com which actually I'm going to go and I'm going to go into my Instagram well actually I can just click it right there hold on where is it there it is right here I can just click on my Instagram and go and edit my profile and add my link in there because that I've had my link as TikTok ABC I'm going to edit this and I'm going to just put this website right here there you go that's my link now and I'm just going to go click on that and now profile saved and now if I go back to Instagram uh, to my profile you can see that it says as Jean shares now now when I click on that it actually goes to my site which will just have this and it's completely mobile friendly as well so say for example I convert this to a mobile view I don't know if you know how to do that but if I here let me just uh dock that on the side here so if I if I set this to mobile right if I just click on this little mobile thing it shows it'll show it as a mobile I can reload the page and you can see that this is what it'll look like on a phone you'll be able to scroll up and down like this and it's completely responsive as well so if you get to a certain size it'll automatically adjust to whatever view the person is on right so that's that's important in today's age it has to work on a phone right because most people on Instagram are on their phones right if I go to my Instagram here and I set this up and inspect I set this up as mobile right oh it's a, it's a mobile one you can see that now I have this and the link is right here I click on this link oh it opens up another tab uh I still have to go back to inspect here but like you see it's a link like that now the other thing is that if we go to actually I have to go to my account I probably should have loaded that before but let's just go in here if I go here to this and I'm going to show you all this in a minute but I just want to show you the basics right now you can see these are the links it, it gives you the ability to edit them to move them around uh, you can edit this and change this to whatever text you want uh, you can move it up and down um, 
and you can also see the links the clicks right here 111 basically means in the last so the the three numbers are in the last 24 hours the last week and the last month eventually we're going to have some um, better metrics you know we're going to have maybe a, a little graph and things like that you'll be able to specify okay how many people clicked and whatever uh, but you can see right here they're the same number because this I created that just a day or two ago right but uh, as people click on them this is probably all just me clicking right but as people click on them you're going to be able to see these numbers change as well so you're going to be able to see that now there's uh there's two different link pages if you will there's the personal link page and there's the sites link page what does that mean so the personal link page is not functional yet so but if you go here and you go to links right in your menu right there it'll take you to the page that says you know personal link setup and development so but it'll look exact pretty much the same as the other one uh, the difference is that the personal link is going to be like jeanserge.clickelinks.com right it'll be bob.clickelinks.com or it'll be clickelinks.com slash bob right depending on uh what you choose and uh what else and uh, yeah and and the rest is going to be the same pretty much right you're going to have up to five links so in the plans you're going to have up to five links if we look at the links over here maximum links in your link page site right now it's five for the free account right the free account it's five uh instead of four four on 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 um on on linktree right uh, that's why we did five on clicky course so you get five or if you pay for any of the monthly plans 10 30 right you get a 20 links now I just left it at 20 for all of them but maybe we'll increase it I don't know how many people would want that many links if you want more than that we certainly well we're probably going to change this to more um here let me change it right now let me change it right now you're going to see how I edit these features these these things are all editable and they're all based on the site and by the way you can have your own branded Click eCourse site that has all this customizable for yourself right now I'm just going to go into max links I'm going to change that to I don't know let's put 30 here let's put 50 here and let's put 150 right there it doesn't it doesn't really matter to me the number of links but that basically is uh, the uh, links that's going to be let's just do that and let's go back now you can see that if I look at the plans you have up to 20 30 50 or 150 links depending on which plan you're on um, on the free plan you get maybe I should put this at 10 right based on the dollars you pay <laughs> but anyways for now that's kind of what it is all right so that's the now if I go back to more here and I go to uh, sites actually you see if I go to links right now it's just a page that kind of says your own link and it's going to talk about uh, more is going there's going to be more details when you, probably by the time you watch this video and you click the site it'll have more than that but if I just go to sites right now uh, and I look at my ask Jean Serge they basically have the links are configured here as you can see they're all here and uh, there's a preview which lets you see it here or you can go and visit the site itself close the preview um okay so let's talk about how to set that up how to set up a brand new site and make it a link site that, so you can have your very own domain you can say you know boblinks.com if you want you just register the domain and then you point it to the site so right now I'm gonna register I have a domain that I've already registered called ci secrets and I'm gonna make a link to uh, the last few blogs or something like that right so let's just do that right now so first of all in your zone in your zone edit if I go to my domains well whichever domain you know my GoDaddy or different domain providers you have to have the domain and you have to set a C name to point to Click eCourse okay so that's the first thing let's not even you know what let's back up let's do that later right now I'm going to simply create a brand new link I'm going to go back into the list of sites which by the way if you go to more and then you click on sites you're going to have no sites actually let's log into an account that doesn't have any so you can see the what it looks like when you're starting out. I'm going to log into here as my success with js account which is the one where I have my success with js blog and I'm going to reload this page 
okay so now it says I don't have any site that's what you're going to see you don't have any sites created uh by the way a site can be different things maybe I'll cover that. let's explain that right now when you create a new site <laughs> you first have to give it a url <laughs> oh, sorry it has to be a, a url this a, a new site is a url based um destination so you have to have a domain name for it you have to register that domain that's all we're we're not going to get into that stuff but you have to register a domain for it and you got to give it the name here so the like you know ci secrets com so that's one of the domains I have and you gotta you gotta put the base domain the base host so it's not HTTPS WW and all those things it's just the domain right so if I go to my domain list I have all these domains here this is CI secrets right here right so CI secrets that's the name you got to put in as your uh, domain so CI secrets in my case right okay so CI secrets you put that name there the short name you give it it's basically uh, an identifier inside the database but it can be it's usually going to be the same thing right ci secrets just like that and this is the type of site it can be we're talking about a list of links site right now but there's a school there's a blog wordpress site there's a software portal there's a forwarding domain static website and a list of links I'm not going to go through all these right now but basically um you you can have a wordpress site like my my site success with js or Jean Serge Gagnon I need to have a blog a wordpress site there um also if I want to have a software portal which basically is uh, with an API and that kind of stuff uh, forwarding domain I I use jsgagnon.com that is a forwarding domain everything that I put if I say cis you know if I say um facebook dot jsgagnon.com it's going to go automatically redirect to another domain with that same prefix and then that's going to be anyways that's a forwarding domain static website you can just put files in there the way we, whatever you want list of links is what we want basically a list of links so the forward to is only for forwarding domain the title is is used in your site so this is going to be course income secrets secret secrets links right uh, whoops so this will be the title that's going to show up at the top if I go to my astronaut series right over here <laughs> let's uh, set it back to a normal normal whoops sorry I keep forget about this uh, let's close this okay so this is the title right here and then there's a summary right here that you can put if you want so if I go back to here my title is going to be course income secret links and I'm going to say click these buttons to whoops to learn more okay anyways I'll just do that but that's basically going to show up underneath the title you can leave it blank if you want it's up to you uh click on next is going to take you to the links tab right here which is where you create links where you when you first go in there you don't have any links right so now we got to create one we've got to create one and multiple links so I'm just going to create one right now I'm going to call this um let's say top 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 blogs so let's just say top blogs I'm going to put top blogs in here and I'm going to that's just going to be a title so I'm just going to say title only right I'm going to submit that now we have top blogs as a title if I was to go back oh I don't have it yet okay that's not worried okay so top blogs actually you can click preview you see the top blogs right close preview all right so now if I add another item I want this to be uh I don't know if I go to my blog let's go over here go to my blog main blog and I go to course income secrets let's say let's say this one let's make this one of my top blogs so what is a drip course let's put that as the title over here I'm going to put that as a title and then the url of course is going to be this url here I put that in here and I want this to be uh, blue or red or green right now that's all there is for styles but we're going to in, in, increase the number of things that you can do with this but let's just say I want a red uh, green background and black text submit that now it looks like that's what it looks like and if I mouse over it right like this now if I add another one let's say I add another one 
let's go back to the blog again again we're talking about the top blogs here so let's just say uh difference the differences comparison let's actually uh, we're going to put those in something else but I'm just going to go down here let's say um is correct how do I earn commissions let's do that how do I earn commissions on click equals platform let's go put that in here right here I just I'm just want to show you how to create uh, links and and stuff like that go back over here there's the link I just get the link well actually you can't see but I'm just um, um, I'm just taking the link that's for that page or you can do it also you can also do it like this right so right click copy link address and then I'm going to paste that in the link right here and again I want to have the same uh color so it's going to be like this so now I have these two now if I add another one let's say uh let's say uh click click e-course comparisons let's just do that it's going to be another section just the title and then I'm going to add um click e-course click e-course teachable let's say teachable let's say teachables comparison comparison okay that's teachables comparison now if I go back to here we had that teachable well I guess it was in the previous previous page was it page one I think we had those in there course difference uh, business center teachable this one here copy link address go over here and let's make these ones um yellow and I'm gonna add another one let's say you Demi comparison I'm gonna go back to the blog and I'm gonna get the Udemy one this one here copy link address this and this is yellow as well add new item let's say we also had uh what else do we have so we have teachable Udemy we have Skillshare there you go let's get the link Skillshare Skillshare comparison right so I'm just doing that link in here put that in here put that as a yellow submit as a yellow so now we have these if I preview this you see this what it looks like top blogs <coughs> oh it doesn't have the uh, but in but yeah okay so that's uh, so you see all this like this uh now we're going to add another item social uh let's say click click e-course features so that's another title let's add if I go to click e-course I can actually go into click e-course site right here and I can actually go down into here so drippy course let's say trip courses copy link address creating a drip course okay there you go and this will be make these uh red <coughs> and let's add another one let's go in here let's say what else do we want to do about like e-course um, virtual summit I do in commissions let's go back to the next one what are simple steps to put together online okay so copy this virtual summit the virtual virtual summit creation okay that's a virtual summit make this red as well now we're gonna add another one and by the way as you can tell I can add more than five because I'm I've got the advanced uh the, the the extreme plan uh if you have only a free plan you would only be able to add five right so let's just uh, do that like this what else do I want in here I had also the create a course in an hour that's cool let's do that create course in under an hour okay put that in here it's going to be another red submit like this so now we there's actually four different colors right now uh but you know like I said there's going to be more stuff I'm going to add another one 
social uh social my social media my social media <laughs> i'm gonna make that like this i'm gonna add facebook my facebook oh, this is facebook dot com and this will be blue <coughs> add another one it's going to be called my uh instagram and this is going to be this instagram.com slash right and we're also going to make this blue and there we go okay so now I could add more but I just kind of want to show you <coughs> other stuff you can do as well so let's say for example I'm like okay Udemy I want it down I want it below uh RST S is should be up here let's say I want to sort them by by you know then in here I might want to say create course in another an hour I want that to be first up here so I'm going to move it up and Facebook and Instagram that's good so you can move them like this or if you wanted to you can actually edit the uh, each of these right you can just click in the little edit uh, thing and you can move it by just specifying a different sort id right if I do this now that's all the way down here right I can go back I'm going to put it back at number one <coughs> which actually is this right this is this is number one and this should be number two otherwise it'll be confusing and I should probably fix it so that that does not and this is number two oh they're both two they're both two they should not be both two what is this one three oh this is four okay so let's edit this make this three okay so now we have <coughs> the numbers okay so uh and then when, like I said you can see the preview it's supposed to have the title at the top we'll fix that but uh, yeah so that's basically what it looks like now we have our tr our link pipe now you know you can't send people to this without it being used in a domain so what we're going to do and I see for example if I go to si secrets right now this is what I'm seeing right I'm it's in the parking zone because I haven't set a domain yet but if I go here uh and I edit this domain I go back to my si si ci secrets ci secrets I go into my domain uh, and I go and edit it I'm going to say I want this to go to click ecourse.com and I want this to be an alias and this will be the same thing uh, that's fine like this uh I can do a star as well because it's in case somebody puts something in front of the domain just star there we go okay so that's basically your DNS now this is zone edit uh, obviously if you want help with zone edit maybe you don't have a domain manager you can uh, reach out but other that other than that dom uh, names name cheap um uh, GoDaddy there's a whole bunch of different domain providers out there they have different editors but it's all pretty similar a C name is a C name no matter what DNS provider you're using and you have to be making it point to click eCourse look at that I did it wrong this is click eCourse I had a typo so that would have been nice right so now I save it I'm just going to go and confirm that this is what I want and I'm going to say done and normally you know it takes a little it's they say an hour but it's usually pretty quick it's usually within a few seconds so if I actually go here and I reload this I guess it's still parked uh let's see if I go to maybe if I open it in an incognito window is that going to make a difference no it's still parked so that'll take a little bit let's see if I do uh just abc dot okay yeah that's perfect okay so now this is because this uh SSL certificate's not set up so abc dot it doesn't really matter if I go to any any something that CI secrets the, it's just the main one is cached by my computer but this is normal because there's no SSL certificate on it yet but if I click on advanced you can see that it says that it's click eCourse so that's that's normal so I'm going to proceed to it anyways right and now as you can see it shows me the links so course income secrets links click these buttons to learn more this is exactly what we did here right we have in basic of the site we have click these two buttons to learn more and click ecourse click 
click income secrets links is what we're seeing right here now right okay so that's that's uh yeah so that's um how you set up your own clickable links now once you have this this domain directed now the next thing you want to do is you want to do the SSL certificate there's a different couple of different ways you can do that first way I guess the simplest way see as it, it says right now domain clicking course instead of CI secret so it, the system knows that so it says it's valid but it's not the right name right so you can click on upload SSL certificate after you've gotten your SSL certificate from whoever provides you with it you can actually just choose the zip file and upload it or you can manually enter a private key in a public in a full chain right here so if you do the manual side of things keep in mind that your private key uh, you you should keep it safe but that's what you need to use to generate the certificate signing authority to get it done from this SSL provider and all those kinds of things now you don't need to you don't need to you don't need to do that if you're going to be using the main site which will be you know bob.clickelinks.com right but um if you if you want to have your own site like this you need to get a certificate now I can go in here I'm actually going to go and generate the certificate let's just do that um let's just do that over here let's just do that I'm just going to show I'm just going to generate a certificate uh, which isn't something you should be doing but I just kind of want to show you the difference once you have that actually before I do that let's show you something else if I go into into my if I go into my say Instagram or any place else and I change this to be the domain that has that no SSL right that doesn't have the SSL certificate then you it won't work right so I'm not actually sure what happens let's try this CI secrets I don't know if, mm, I don't know if uh, I hope it won't uh, I hope it won't give me a problem to resave it uh whoops I should have went to profile <clears throat> so that's there now if I click it I'm just wondering what Instagram is going to do if it's not a, a val a, a SSL should signed site because it's taking a little while oh look at that so it's going to give me this oh but this is a different this is a different issue it's because it's trying to go to https that ci secrets and since I don't have the certif the, the the domain hasn't been redirected yet you know how it said that it's still parked when we looked at it earlier when we just went straight to ci secrets if I go to ci secrets like we were before it's still in the parking zone so that means that the the dom domain doesn't redirect and it's expecting it to be a uh, but anyways that's that's different that's different area. but you still need to have your domain so say for example I went to uh let's actually edit this and let's put abc info dot let's do that and that's going to redirect but I'm wondering if it's going to give us is it saved go back to my profile uh okay now it says info ci secrets if I click on that it's supposed to redirect but it might it, it will redirect but the certificate's going to be wrong so it's going to say this info so as you can see if I click on advanced oh, but it does redirect it does redirect it's just that you know, you'll see this and if you're in Facebook browser or other kinds of browsers you probably it probably won't work so you really need to get an SSL certificate for your domain and this is how you do it and I'm not even sure if that works right now this upload for here I haven't actually tried but let's try it let's generate one and then we'll uh, and then we'll show you how that works so I'm just going to go I don't even remember let me actually I'm going to pause the video I'm going to generate the certificate because I there is some sensitive stuff that's going on here so we don't want that to be shared so I'll be right back all right so I'm back so now what we do is I could do if I had generated using a provider I could have just selected the zip file and upload it otherwise right now I'm going to do the manual thing because I did it manually so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to get the private key and I'm going to get the certificate and I'm going to paste it in here and then submit it so just uh, let because this is private um 
sensitive information that should not be shared I'm actually going to go pause the camera again I'm going to go paste that in here and then I'm going to click the submit button so the private key uh is is just the only so I'm just going to go paste the private key I'll be right back okay so I've got it pasted in here you can't see it I just see the it's a it's a lot longer than that so that's fine if you have this but here's the SSL of the full chain so now I'm going to go and get that which is over here let's get this from here to here paste that in here and then I got to get the rest of it there we go so from here to here and we'll paste that here and there we go okay so now I've got both the private key and the uh, certificate so now I submit it and I actually haven't tried this I don't know if this will work <laughs> let's hope it works click the submit fail to update module not sure what that means but let's go and fix it to show you what it looks like after all right so I've gone ahead and fixed it manually I'm going to fix that so that it doesn't happen when you try to do it but as you can see right here now it says it's a valid certificate and if I go to um this is the page we had no that's Assange over here if I just reload this is it going to re reload now no still not that that's the domain it's but if I reload whoops if I reload this page no that's still not where's the all right let's just do info here if I go and I say info now now it's loading and you can see the little icon here it says it's valid it says it's the right certificate everything's good so if I go back to Instagram and I click on this now it's just going to work right now it's just going to work and it's going to give me these links that I chose to put on there and uh, so yeah so of course we're going to do more we're going to get it to work like these sites where you can have these link tree all these different backgrounds everything else like this we're going to have different layouts different looks and whoops and of course there should be a, a profile image there and there should be a different background the background that you want right different options for these this is all going to be done as well just like Linktree very similar to it anyways and uh but right now it's very basic right but at least it gets the job done and what's important is to have people be able to click on your stuff without you having to tell them you just say go to my profile click the link there and then there's and then go click on teachable comparison or go click on what's a drip course or go click on creating a drip course right and then what happens is they'll just see these and then maybe they click other ones right but that's basically how you create a link page on Click eCourse all right hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.